Hey, thanks for tuning in to this video right here on Brandon TV. And what I have in store for you today is something, a little bit of blast from the past. Uh, we have a TV show, uh, Mr. Dress Up. And Mr. Dress Up, for you of those uh, that don't know what it is, it's like uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, but a Canadian version. It was done from the CBC, Canadian Broadcast Corporation, here in Canada. And like I said, it was like early 90s, I believe. And uh, so if you haven't seen it, you could YouTube it and we'll get into some of the details of the show here. But there's this company called Main and Local and what they do is they produce um, like socks, they do clothes, mugs, uh, all different things to do with Canada. I know I have some Christmas ornaments from them. There's like poutine. Um, just really Canadian things. So they have a line and what we're doing is the Mr. Dress Up line today and I'm so happy from them and I'm gonna show something else not from Maine and Local, but check out the Maine and Local website. They have really cool stuff. First thing, let's check out this mug. So this mug here, let's check out the box. Uh, the box here, uh, as it says, Mr. Dress Up Coffee Mug. And this is officially licensed from the CBC. And it has the little uh, train there, which is from the uh, intro song. Um, inside shows the butterfly in the bottom, uh, showing this is a 15 ounce mug, which I love mugs that are like a bigger mug than like an eight ounce mug. So I love, I love that, especially because in the winter time I have hot chocolate. I have a little hot chocolate station. I like to put whipped cream, some toppings. Um, so let's take a look at this mug. Um, and Maine and local, you can, at least I'm talking about here in Canada and specifically I'm in Toronto. So Maine and local, you find them at lots of shops uh, around like little independent mom and shop, mom and pop shops um, that are local. Um, actually, I've even seen this at the Bay recently, uh, even last year. Um, I know along the Danforth, Queen Street West, things like this. So here we go. The colors are very vi vibrant. So Mr. Dress Up, and if you've seen the beginning, sorry, if you've seen the show and the beginning of this intro video, I have the intro to the Mr. Dress Up song. Um, so there's Mr. Dress Up with the train, and uh, he has uh, some of the kids there. It's very colorful. This is just a happy go-to mug that kind of brings a nostalgic feeling like, oh, Mr. Dress Up, and what? was Mr. Dress Up. So it was like uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood where he had his puppets and that kind of thing. And uh, he did different things or taught kids things, but his main thing was drawing. He loved to draw and he would sketch things out. But then he also had a maple leaf, like um, he did the, uh, which we're gonna get into here. He had the tickle trunk. So he had that big red trunk and he had all the clothes inside where you dress up and pretend to be things. And what kid doesn't love to play dress up? I remember all the time I loved to play uh, uh, the tickle trunk at my house and put all kinds of stuff inside. So let's take a look. This is the two pack. Uh, I believe this are set. I think you get this one separate. I think this is exclusive to the two pack. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's how it works. So here is the ornaments. It's the uh, also, of course, license. On the TV, it shows the little train, like the intro video. Here is the tickle trunk with some uh, items for it. And then uh, just packaging that matches the intro. So let's take a look at this opened up. And uh, this is just like a really nostalgic feeling, you know, of Mr. Dress Up, especially if you grew up like me watching it on TV here in Canada. So let's take a look at the TV. So it is a retro, there's just a little bit of uh, like powder from the factory. Um, so here is the TV. It is a retro style TV, including with the bunny ears, has CBC on the back. I remember these click, 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 the little channel knobs and the volume knobs, that's so retro. So I love that showing it on the TV. By the way, I'll cut this off, um, but I love using the these ornament hooks, these fancy, not, it's not, well, I guess it is fancy compared to the other ones, but I love using this style of ornament hook to display them. And then look at this, we have the, um, we have the tickle trunk, which is red. It has 
it's all painted like it was on the show. Um, and on the back, it says Mr. Dress Up. And there you can see it has some hats and some props. Um, so anyone who loved this show growing up, uh, this would be a great present for any one of your children or maybe a brother or sister, you know. There's that. So here's the mug. We have the ornaments. And this, I haven't ordered yet, but I definitely am ordering it. If you remember back in Halloween, I ordered a Beetlejuice uh, sweatshirt, uh, sorry, sweater. Uh, well, Retro Kid, this amazing company here in Toronto, uh, they are ha they have a CBC collection, and part of the CBC collection is this Mr. Dress Up hoodie. Look at this Mr. Dress Up hoodie with the logo. It has um, all lots of uh, pictures on the side of the sleeve, full color. It's really, really good quality, uh, this, this company, and I really love what they're doing. This guy, or these, I think there's two guys that run it, that co-own it together. They're doing an amazing job. So I just want to shout out to Retro Kid with the sweater. And so this is your whole Mr. Dress Up package for this holiday season. Uh, makes a great gift idea. Maybe if you guys Google main and local, maybe something will come up in an area where you guys live or you could order maybe uh, from a website right to your house. I just want to insert this into the video. Uh, when I was at the CBC building a few years back, they had a little section uh, in the lobby there. It's like a little museum. They show the history of radio when they used to do like radio, um, I guess, stories and they do like the sound effects like back in the day and they show some uh, cameras and things like that of the progression of the CBC and then they had a little section there of the Mr. Dress Up which was really cool so you got to see like the uh, Mr. Dress Up tickle trunk, some of the props, uh, some of the puppets things like that so I hope you guys are taking a look at this while I talk uh, I took these pictures because I was there I thought it was cool I never really had anything to do with them so here's a perfect chance I can share them with you if you haven't made it down to the CBC building to see this little um, museum that they have there of uh, the history of the CBC but also with Mr. Dress Up there which was a huge part of Mr. Dress Up uh, in the 80s and 90s so I hope you could enjoy that piece there uh, so that's it from me today here on Brandon TV and again if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button I would really appreciate that my subscribers are slowly climbing and I thank you if you've already subscribed if not it's just one click away and until next time guys uh, take care and stay safe bye guys